What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Silent, the uh, Striton City Gym Leader, and uh, now, once you get out of the Pokemon Gym, you're going to be encountered by Fennel, the friend of P Professor Juniper. So here she is, she's like, hi there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. So we're going to be following her. Hello, how's it going? Um, I'm Draven. I just want a badge. And you want me to do something right here. You're going to meet all the Pokemon in Unanova region? Am I right? Oh, the stairs are right, uh, or the stairs are right here. Hmm. Okay. My room is upstairs here. Come on, go upstairs. Wow, she's very impatient. She kind of reminds me of a little somebody. I don't even know. So, like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can uh, see, I am a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. And she just exp exclamation point. She's like, so, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. And here we have the HM01 cut. That's right, guys. The cut technique. There are some moves that Pokemon can use even when uh, it's not fighting. With this hitting machine, you can teach your Pokemon, uh, Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree. You can uh, use a hitting machine as uh, many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget the hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to, to or I'd like to ask a favor of you. Uh, there is a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I like some of the dream mist that it, that a Pokemon called or a Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use the game seek to collect saved files of various trainers. Okay, okay. So the next adventure right here is that we gotta we gotta collect some uh, some dream mist. It's pretty much uh, it's pretty much Muna farts. That's what it is, guys. Muna farts. So what I'm gonna do right now is a uh, few things. I'm actually gonna be going right here and grabbing a Pokemon. I really don't need to teach any of my other Pokemon uh, cut. Um, let's see. Uh, not that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I gotta withdraw. And uh, we're gonna be camp. We're gonna be putting up that uh, patch right that we caught early on in our adventure right here. And uh, let's go ahead and save our Pokemon right here, or not save Pokemon, but let's heal our Pokemon. Now I should have been doing this off screen, but I'm kind of lazy to do some editing right now. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right now. Look at that, Pokemon are healed. And thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Okay, so that's cool. That is good. Okay, so. Our next adventure is the Dream Yard again. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually teach my Pokemon Cut. And like I said in the last uh, last episode, one big improvement that uh, Generation 5 has made was to make TMs unlimited. And uh, we all know how much we love unlimited TMs. Back in Generations 1 through 4, it was just a hassle just trying to find uh, a specific uh, TM for, uh, for a specific Pokemon. Not only that, but you only get one. Only one in the whole game, and it's just it just got so annoying. Right here, Generation 5, I think that they made well, uh, like they made well use of the TM being unlimited right here. So here we are in the Dream Yard again. And all we need to do now is cut this thing right here. So what we gotta do first. First is first, uh, I want to actually move Ace up right here. Now, Mr. Teeny did his job, so we're not really going to be using him on our, on our team very much. He's not really, uh, well, he's liked, but he's not loved. Now, once you cut that tree and move on ahead, here's our good old friend, Bianca, and she's like, Hi, Draven, are you looking for a mysterious Pokemon, too? Yes, we are. Okay, where are she's looking around. She's looking around. Okay, we walk in, and let's see. I'm just really, uh, really wondering how Dream works. And we move on ahead. We hear somebody, or we hear something. And Bianca's just surprised as I am. And she's like, hey, did you hear something from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go and see. We're going to have a look-see right now. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. And here we have a Muna. And she's, the moon is like, moon. Walking around or floating around. Oh, wait. Floating around, floating around, and here we have two Team Plasma members, and this guy is like, we found you, Muna. Looking at the Muna. Come on, come on, make some Dream Mist. M Muna. Looking around, it's looking scared. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking to uh, about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we? What are we doing? 
the Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit Mysterious Vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. Now, again, the Vapor, it's Muna Fart. Muna Musharna Fart. We'll show, we'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. And this guy right here is just like abusing the crud out of this Muna right here. And it's like, it's, it's getting annoying right now. Come on, spit out the Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it to to make it give off Dream Mist? That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. Yet you kick a Pokemon while it's down. Yeah, you guys are really fighting for something. And setting Pokemon free means that that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note. Were you going to rescue the po your Pokemon, f or we are going to rescue your Pokemon from you? Yeah, that's not going to happen. And Bianca's like, "What? Don't hurt Draven." It's okay, baby. He won't hurt me. It's gonna take a while. Oh, well, not a while, but it's gonna take a second right here. Okay, so here we go. Team Plasma Grunt wanting to battle us, and he's gonna be coming out with the Patrat. Not so scary. Let's go right ahead and take out that Ace. That's right, Ace looking like a, a nice snack right here. About to go with this tackle attack. And uh, we gotta be careful for this right here because that bite attack will actually beat us if we hit it more than, uh, well, if it survives both our, both our attacks. As you can see, it's storing its energy and we're gonna be going straight for another tackle attack. Eat it, Patrat. So you are unable to use bite attack. Look at that. Ace kicked your ass. Ah, your beautiful dream. Hmm, okay. Were you not were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. Alrighty, so here we go. Another Team Plasma member. Not Team Galactic, Team Plasma. And here she is, uh, another grunt. They're all named grunts for some reason. And here she comes out with a purloin. Okay. Scary ass kitty cat with a scratchity scratch. Here we go. Going with Ace. Ace, tackle attack. That's right, cats and dogs, cats and dogs. We all know the dog can beat the cat. And here she comes out with a growl attack. Not so much, uh, well, not so easy for you. So here we go, tackle attack again, eat that. There we go, purloin, eat that. That's right, one, two, three experience points. That is a good boy, you are a good boy, Ace. And they're, bo they're both just like in disbelief. I can't believe we lost. But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. And of course, he's just gonna keep on hitting this Muna. Like, I'm not, I'm like, really? Come on, make with the Dream Mist. Bianca's like, like, knock it off. And out of nowhere, there's a flash, and this guy right here just pops out of nowhere. What are you two doing goofing off? Oh, they, oh, what? Oh, wow, there's two of them. How the hell, wait, you gotta teach me how to do that. We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. Oh, wow, instant transmission in? If you cannot fulfill your duties? Oh, crud. This isn't... Guesses we, he is gathering followers, or guesses when he is trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is guesses when he uh, when he when a plan has failed, and he is about to issue a punishment. Oh crud! At any rate, let's hurry and uh, say we're sorry. For, so he for, so he can forgive us. Okay, all right. So they're running away, and then this guy just flashes out of nowhere, and here comes a Mushar now. Look at this Musharna, and he's looking at his baby right here, or her baby, and she's like, Shar. What was that now? Just now. The person called, or that person called Getz has appeared all over the place, and uh, isn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. Oh! And I don't know where Fennel is coming, he's like, I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Yes, it is. Musha. And uh, me, okay, all right. And of course, they leave us a little something, a little piece of uh, poop right there, you know, because it, the vapor is a fart, a Muna and Musharna fart. Did something happen? Yeah, it did. It just took a shit. Oh, Fennel. Well, you see Muna here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and it showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma, yeah, you know, I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna. So, seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power to making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. Hold on, it's grabbing that thing, and, uh, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, she's happy. Is this Dream Mist? Oh my god. With this, I can complete my research. You two have to come uh, to my house later, okay? Okay. Huh, how random was that? Draven, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Well, me? Well, I'm going to look for some Pokemon we just saw now. Okay. But before we go anywhere, I am uh, going to grab a few items that are located right here. Um, and probably meet up with a Pokemon here and there. Yes, I will cut it out. Um, there is a specific Pokemon that you can find right here, and it's called an Audino. Now, Audino can actually give you a buttload of experience points by just battling it. Uh, how you can find it, you have to see rustling grass right there. Uh, I'm not going to try and locate it, I'm just going to try and get Pokeballs, and if I so happen to run into any Pokemon, I'm just going to cut them out. So let's just go ahead and do that. And here we have a Pokeball. That's right, another Pokeball for the collection right there. And uh, yeah, still waiting for that repel, or still wanting to get more repels. And uh, okay, so we have to go through this one right here. And uh, we will be finding another item around here somewhere. Um, um, oh, there it is, right there. And we found ourselves a paralysis heal, which is always good too, since we are victims of those, of paralysis, multiple paralysis. And then we grab that repel. Wow, it's about, about damn time. As you can see, there's an entrance right here. We won't be getting there until after we defeat the Elite Four. Remember, we played this game twice, never finished it in its entirety. Again, guys, since now we're doing live calm, it will be easier for us to just complete this whole walkthrough uh, in its entirety as quickly as possible. It's not going to take like eight months like Pokemon Platinum did. And, uh, well, let's get the heck out of here and go straight to Fennel. Or Fennel, whatever her name is. And there's another area right here. I believe you have to get into the entrance on the other side to get to this location right here. So, uh, again, we're going to be completing everything right here uh, in due time. Hopefully, uh... In a little bit shorter time than uh, than usual now we're gonna be going here into Fennel's house and uh, going straight up here and once we do go ahead and talk to Fennel she's bouncing up and down she's like ta-da thanks to you I got dream mist and now I can collect and save files from various trainers thank you very much as a token of appreciation I will give you this sea gear to use the sea gear is a device related to communication such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection unfortunately it got shut down. We're a few years too late right here. But it's always nice to have, right? The sea gear. And of course, it's going to be turning on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. The sea gear. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's all cool and nifty. You see, the sea gear has activated and, sh and the screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon at the bottom right uh, of the screen, you can read about the sea gear. About the sea uh, game sync. I'd like to explain a little more about the system to collect trainer save files. Do you wanna... do you have time to learn? Well, even if I pick no, she's still gonna tell me, so I'm gonna pick no. I'm sorry, I'm so happy, so I'll explain about it. See? There... like, I get no choice in this. Because, uh, thanks to you, I could do a great thing. Now, GameSync can retrieve memories of sleeping Pokémon using Dream Mist. That's right, we can collect save files of trainers from all over the world. Bouncing up and down, and what's more, we learned what uh, we learned that if you use a game sync to uh, to make Pokemon sleep, it can uh, it will have dreams. Then, when you wake up the Pokemon, it uh, its dream becomes a reality in a space called the Interlink in the middle of the Unova region. Isn't game sync interesting? If you like, please send your save file. I've summed up the detail in the PT, uh, the PC, so collect or so please check it if you get a chance. And after that, her partner right here is just looking and she's surprised and she's like, Oh, trainer, thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is from me, please take it, don't be shy. And here we have, uh, diary, I think. Yeah, Palpad. And, uh, you can register your friends in a Palpad. After you register, you can link with, uh, those friends over Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to do all sorts of fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge your friends to a battle, and so on. Let me give you a quick uh, how-to on registering your friends. You can either input your friends code directly to using the battle pad, or you can uh, use a IR connection featuring the Sea Gear. Then you can register your friend. Still more instruction, guys. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this episode right here. 
I know, I know, I'm going piece for piece, but trust me guys, in the later episodes, we will be going through, well, it's going to be a, a, you know, it's going to be a nice amount of time for all that stuff, but again, I'm so freaking happy that we can do live com here, uh, trust me guys, this, this walkthrough is going to be awesome. Uh, you already got a quick glimpse at our gym battle right here, um, and I'm going to keep on saying this every single time. I'm sorry if the sound or the music sounds a little laggy, I get it, but I'm still trying to get, trying to kick the, you know, trying to fix the kinks right here. But at least we got a Pokemon Black walkthrough and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys again for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Pokemon Black. See you guys.